Right, so basically today I'm going to share a little bit about how you can install a habit, right? So if you look at the successful people in this world, right, most of them are not inherit the genesis from the parents, right? So it is because of their passion and it is because of what they are doing every single day to make it happen. So one of the tips that can make you install the habit is by doing a journaling. What is journaling? Before that, I'm going to share, uh, share one quote. Awesome habit yields amazing result. Start some better one today. That is from Robin Sharma. So what I write dalamnya mostly adalah uh, what I have done apa yang kami dah buatlah um, the day before ya yeah. what are the good things that happened to me yesterday so kami tulislah apa nak good things happen ni macam bos muji oh, dalam kan sekarang tu PKP pun musim lah MCO so everything is using webex lah so apa yang kami tulis uh, apa yang um, I mean like uh, when boss say that you you are handsome today because you have photo rambut apa semua then that is some macam a positive thing lah so I just write lah my boss puji me uh, rambut dah foto and then probably if your your staff like my staff my sales staff ni apa dah macam uh, thank you Ali for sharing this and that macam I feel like uh, I've been uh, macam my work uh, appreciate by them so I just write down the the good things that happened to me yeah. and then at the same time apa yang kami pula I will do uh, the my plan but today's plan so apa yang akan i pola um, moving forward to improve improve myself number two health probably you can tulis pasal health if you if let's say you take macam you want to uh, install a habit of uh, workout so probably you can start to list uh, what are the most uh, what uh, what are the, the things that you must do uh, today Probably you can write there, you nak pola uh, 20 minutes run or 10 minutes run or 1 kilometer run and then you want to do some uh, uh, chest, body workout, apa semua. Then you tulis ya siya. Then make sure you try to do it. Then record yourself lah. Record yourself um, uh, bapa push up you boleh pola today. Then you write again in your journal. That is when you write it, you write it the next day. When you wake up in the morning, then you ingat balit. Aku dah pola health, uh, health workout is today. So, apa dah di pola aku? Then you write down there. Then, trust me, you akan rasa macam, eh, dapat juga aku pola. Then, that it will motivate you in a way sebenarnya. Okay, the second thing is about your health. So, the third one, you can talk about relationship. Right. So, relationship here, probably with your colleague, probably with your your staff. Okay. So, maybe when you want to start the journal, maybe you can start dulu, you can reflect yourself. You can reflect yourself, um, but you don't write. You don't write down. You reflect yourself. What have you done? Macam ni apa ni? You dengan sidaknya dulu. Uh, macam macam ni cara you kelakar dengan Jokeli. You reflect that, and then you plan. Today, I'm going to do better. I mau uh, probably you pada um, you mau uh, control the way you speak to your to your staff and uh, say thank you every time they help you ka. so you tulis a lot what can be better alright then the next day when you wake up in the morning you akan rasa something you akan rasa macam oh yeah yesterday aku dah try to change the way I kelakar dengan aku pun staff then probably that can be um, part in motivation lagi for you right? the fourth one is your personal development so if you are a student right, probably you can uh, to list lah apa your achievement yesterday uh, uh, apa problem that you have solved okay then the next point you can write down probably uh, what can be better right uh, so mendam dam macam yalah right so that is number f the fourth one the fifth one is about financial independence so if you rasa you nak try to do a saving journaling absolutely definitely is going to help you juga so contoh lah for the past few months, few 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 years, you memang susah nak wala saving. Probably 
when you start to do a journal, you to list your what is your goal, why you want to do saving. Probably you say uh, you mau ada vacation pun fun. So from that goals vacation fun, you to list lah berapa seminggu berapa you cannot save, sehari berapa you cannot save. You to list lah, you to list dekat your journal. So that when every time in the morning, the first thing you do when you when you write down. It will set your mind that you need to save. You are not going to spend simply, right? So that is financial independence. The sixth one is family happiness. I mentioned about relationship. This one is about family happiness. Family happiness. It can be if you are married, you can talk about your wife, your kids. Ada ka you balik rumah? I mean, you just come back from work. You greet them. You hug them. You kiss them. Probably time to MCO, you should really hug them lah. You should like kiss. You cannot mandi lolo. Probably you just say hi, say I love you, I miss you. Cem yalah dengan sidatnya. If last time you said apa lah mendaya, probably start today. You apa lah mendaya. When you write down in the morning, owning your morning allows you to win your day. Ah, so in the morning when you set your mindset great, trust me, your day will be great as well. Number seven. Your life goal also you can write in your journal. Ten years from now. Ten years from now, apa yang nak jadi? Okay. Then from there, you cut down. Okay, cut down. Uh, are you moving towards the goals that you have planned? I believe journaling tu teh. The more you write, the more you will become better. Like me, I pun masih belajar juga. I pun still learning juga. I still find a way. But uh, the reason why I'm sharing to because I see progress. Lah. That's why I share with all of you today. So let's start journaling. All right. So once you start journaling, what will happen to you? What do you benefit from there? First one, trust me, your life will be more happier. You write down all your blessing. And then, secondly, you will feel much stronger. Hmm, yalah, you dah uh, write down all your plan. Then you record down what have you achieved towards your uh, health development, kan tadi kan. So uh, another thing is you feel more inspired. Lastly, feel more much much more motivated. Right. So I hope kita orang enjoy my sharing. Really appreciate that if you can click the subscribe button so that I can share the positive vibe to your life. Right? So that's all for me. Thanks. Bye bye. Ya, Rabi panas hari tu. Ni dak sidak kru kita nak ngebak payung tu. Pasal lah tapok tu lah. Hai. Sah juga. My dream actually to share pasal positivity lah hidup Hidup dengan positif lah. That is the main reason apa hal kami nak wala YouTube channel. I am taking care of a region. So can spread on positivity, spread on the the possibilities. I rasa macam macam si Yukup je. I rasa if I share the this positivity that I have, I mean like yeah things that I've read assist me in my life. People surround me yang know me well, who I am before till. Uh, what I have achieved today, I believe because of the positivity that I um, simpan dalam diri saya pun lah. Okay, so that's why lah I start this uh, YouTube channel so that I can share, so that I can spread the positivity to everyone in this world. So, yeah.